Hello everyone, I'm right now with uh, Professor Hans Dieter Barke from Munster University. He is expert in chemistry education. So, uh, how are you doing, Professor? Fine at your university. I like Indonesia and I was now 10 times, I think, at universities. Oh, in 10 times. Indonesia. In Indonesia. Okay, so your book uh, is about misconception in chemistry. Why did you write down about the misconception about chemistry? <coughs> because I can hear from my university students and from students at school that there is something wrong in their thinking. And by many bachelor and master thesis, I got out that there are two very different kinds of misconceptions. Yeah, so the very young boys and girls are observing burning and are thinking all wood and paper which is burning is destructed and only little ashes remain. Oh, yeah. So they have observed fine all burning processes and cannot see the oxygen, cannot see yeah. the colorless carbon dioxide, so they have this misunderstanding, which is not their fault, but our teachers have uh, to go with the students to the scientific way of wood and oxygen is burning yeah. to carbon dioxide and water steam. So they, right? think, they think that it's just Spanish, right? it's not ours, yeah. We have to look to those preconcepts and to correct them during education. But the worst thing is, that even when you instruct uh, the acid basis, the redox uh, chapter, when you instruct about equilibrium, mm -hmm. there are misconceptions from wrong teaching or from inappropriate teaching. Oh. So this school made misconceptions should read every teacher to have a better way in instructing. So do you think it's common in, I mean, everywhere, the misconception? Yeah. I started in Germany, then by my visits in Ethiopia, in Tanzania, in Indonesia, I see the same there. And uh, let's say one example, when they think about redox reactions yeah. and I'm waiting for electron transfer, yeah. they give me the answer, all redox reactions are working with oxygen. Oh. Because of redox, right? Ox. There must be oxygen, oh, yeah. yeah. We have introduced the electron transfer, but mm. they uh, have more in mind the way from grade 7 or grade 8 uh, carbon and oxygen reacts to carbon dioxide and so on. Mm -hmm. So the oxygen is in their mind, uh, although we have shown many examples where no oxygen is involved, the electron transfer okay, so makes the redox reaction. Um, so how, how to overcome the misconception? First you have to know them, therefore the book. Yeah. And second, you have to integrate them into lectures. You have to, let's say, to talk about, uh, I have heard that students are thinking this and this way, and you must know this is a misconception, this is the wrong way. Yeah. So that they know I have not to uh, talk about oxygen and redox reaction. A redox reaction on a higher level yeah. has to do with electron transfer, right? Excellent. Okay, so we are going to talk about this um, more uh, details in your seminar on 30, uh, 31st October and 7 November in, my, in this uni, University of Negeri Jakarta. So uh, please, teachers, come in and join us. Thank you. Bye-bye. Okay, we wait for you. Yeah. Bye.